How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to watch One Piece episode 183. Last episode it was revealed that Luffy does not take any damage from Inaru. Turns out that he is the number one direct counter to Inaru because he is a rubber man and rubber does not conduct electricity. Inaru's reaction to all this was pretty hilarious. Let's see if he's still okay or if he's completely knocked out. If you'd like to help support our channel, our Patreon link is down in the description below. You'll get early access to all videos that we post onto our YouTube channel, and you get our full and current reactions to the One Piece series. So if you're interested in those, make sure to check it out. Now on to the anime. Go, 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 He's so shocked. <laughs> he needs to keep his distance. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even know what it is. He doesn't even know what it is. What? Mantra. Oh, he can still evade. Well, how can he fight though? Oh, wow. He'll just dodge like that. He's actually focusing now. Oh, Yo, did his nuts? Yeah, right between the legs. Oh, he'll just fight physically. Oh, does he still have mantra? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What? He's gonna try to cut him? Whoa! Ow! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my uh -oh, god, he can no. go mid air. Anyway, Damn it, going. man! I thought it was over for him! What? Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, he he there. <gasps> no! Shit! Ah! <laughs> His ship is getting destroyed. Yes! Ruin it! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Cause he can predict. Why would you destroy your own boat? What? He's still talking like that. Whoa!わかでもあるまい。私は神だぞ。何事も言いのままにする。わかでもあるまい。私は神だぞ。何事も言いのままにする。わかでもあるまい。私は神だぞ。何事も言いのままにする。わかでもあるまい。私は神だ
whoever designed the ship's pretty smart. Like it's actually insane. It's basically an airplane, really. Yeah. Because he's using electricity, and then it's like has these propellers that. <laughs> 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 he doesn't even know about pirates. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you man, you don't know a single thing. <gasps> oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> What? There are, um, there are some people out there. Maybe that will like heal their relations. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you is that, said, is that using water? water, yeah. <gasps> How the hell did he get water? From the clouds? He can change the clouds, right? Oh. It's like a thundercloud, is it? I think he just gets even more powerful. Is that what he's going to use to destroy it? Oh my god. Oh shit. It'll just destroy everything. It could do like AoE damage everywhere. Yeah, AoE. Dude, this guy's evil. <gasps> what the fuck? What are you doing? <gasps> oh, my oh my god. What the heck, dude? Just... Just go by yourself. Why? Yes. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, 
that's ridiculous. What? Doesn't think. His face. <laughs> Not even fight against him. <laughs> you look like that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what? What did he just do? He tried to make himself like an octopus. <laughs> His legs are so long. His <laughs> leg tentacles. Oh. Oh. What? Is it destroying? He's destroying it. Oh, it hit him! Wait. He doesn't know, it's bouncing off. It's right. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's just random! Oh. oh my god! Cause even he doesn't know where it's gonna go, cause it's just bouncing Holy at different shit, directions. Holy shit, that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes! Oh shit! Is that the finishing blow? Oh my god, yes! It's done, it's done, come on. Dude, man, he was acting so high and mighty, oh, take man. Take his rod from him. Feel more. Gatling gun. Yes. He sees it coming too, but he can't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! That was oh, the end. They didn't show us the punch. Holy shit! <sighs> oh, that was that was so good. I love seeing him flustered because he's so confident. Just like literally seconds before yeah, making right? that. <laughs> Well, you would think he would be more, you know, careful fighting Luffy, but he's still like, I'm the best. <laughs> this is my favorite move of all time, Gum Gum Air. <laughs> oh my god, he's so good, he just dodged everything. That was so funny, if he doesn't think that it works. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this was so genius too. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe he's coming up with all these things, <laughs> Yeah, man. that's pretty smart. He's so smart. <laughs> it's pretty smart if you think about it. He, like, I think he's just like really well versed with his moves and like what he can do with them. Like with everything else, he's so stupid. But like when fighting, he's always coming up true. with these very intricate ways to use his moves. It's his not like tactics. he's coming up with new moves most mm -hmm. of the time. He's reusing the same ones, but he like does it in a different way so that it like... It affects him. Yeah, it um, it goes to his advantage yeah. somehow. Because he was like thinking, like, how am I gonna counter his mantra? Yeah, thing, right? he's yeah. like actually trying to figure it out. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, he's is... just like very well versed. It's like somebody that's just just knows their own fighting skills, mm -hmm. front and back, right? And he knows exactly what is capable of and what it isn't. He's a pro. So good. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. Oh my god. Dude, Andrew is making all kinds of faces. I think it's the first time an enemy has made so many facial expressions while fighting um, Luffy, right? For sure, yeah. I don't think there's any on that. Yeah. Maybe like Buggy, but... Like that many times though? I think it's because he keep. It's funny because of the contrast. Like it's like one second he's like you know talking about how he's God and how he's gonna destroy everything, and then the next second <laughs> Luffy just like blows his mind yeah. with what he does. <laughs> he now sees Luffy as God. Yeah. His mantra can't even save him anymore. Yeah. Like he knows it's coming, but he can't do anything. That's so funny.
to the thunder clouds, those ash is just going to destroy everything, yeah. right? Because they wouldn't be able to run from it. It would be, like, all around them. And then, because I think maybe, like, when he's attacking, like, with his, like, judgment move, it's only, like, an a specific area or whatever, mm-hmm. right? With the thundercloud, it would be like be it would go though. everywhere. And it would he just pure destruction. Yeah, and he wouldn't even need to be at those specific locations. I think that's the con of his current way of attacking is that he has to be at that location. That's mm-hmm. why when he went to um attack like um that divine soldier, oh, yeah, yeah. he had to like teleport away, use his skill, and then go back. Right? He can't actually like use it from that far of a distance to mm-hmm. attack people but with this thundercloud he'd be able to like just basically from one area send it into the thundercloud and then go to wherever it needs to yeah it's gonna destroy everything it's actually insane oh my gosh he was so close that like for somebody that doesn't even know about like conductors and rubber he honestly came up with a really brilliant thing yeah. like how did he even how did he even understand all this? Because that, that's, that's the thing. It's like, we were thinking like, oh, oh, like, he's smart. Like, he's using this stuff. But it's like, actually, he's a genius. Because how would he have even known that gold conducts when mm-hmm. gold isn't even a normal thing yeah. in um, Skype? And he had to literally go to the upper yard to retrieve that. So it's like, somehow, he had, he had already had knowledge about, mm-hmm. like, what can conduct and what can't. Oh, well, at least what can conduct. Ba- based on like the sky islands yeah somehow he had his limited knowledge somehow he had to have found that out though because remember we were thinking like oh maybe he's like from from earth like maybe that's why he has so much knowledge about all these stuff but like he i he's from here so Mm. he shouldn't he he shouldn't he shouldn't know about the gold like the devil for power maybe there's something going on about that because it seems like lackey also knew Mm -hmm, about that and she's yeah but the gold and the conducting part, I feel like no one should really know that. Spe- especially the conducting part, because that's like, that would be like, he's like so basically like a scientist of um, Skypea, if you Maybe think about it. Maybe he has a scientist. He killed him. You, you think so? They were like performing experiments? Because that's the thing, like, you know, like, we only understand all these stuff because, you know, sp- scientists in the mm. past conducted all these experiments and then it's like written down for us and then we learn it from a book mm-hmm. but then for him he lives in Skypea so he shouldn't even know about how what what gold is first of all mm-hmm. and how it would like um conduct electricity he shouldn't even know about that because that shouldn't be written anywhere that's maybe, why I'm so curious like where his knowledge came from yeah maybe he took over like he took control of a scientist or something but that's a thing though like nobody even knew about the gold in the upper yard nobody yeah, that only was, he, that's the weird only thing. he knew that's and true. for some reason he knew that it would um the gold would conduct because he had to he had to mm-hmm. go there like his whole plan was to go there and then Take and then over. retrieve it right so yeah. that he had to have that knowledge prior so i'm just wondering like how did he get that knowledge prior because like nobody knew about the gold so there shouldn't be any mm-hmm. books there shouldn't be like any textbooks about talking about gold and like electricity and conducting like materials like none of that maybe he read the nor I'm just like, how did the he book. know about that? And then, like, the fact... Another thing is, like, if he was the one to find that out himself, right? Like, if that knowledge wasn't, like, given to him, mm-hmm. then that means he would have been... He's actually a genius then because he would have had to go through the all these steps of, like, experimentation and stuff and seeing, like, hey, like, how does this work or, like, mm-hmm. whatever. And then to the point of making a ship powered by electricity, like, that's insane. <laughs> Like, actually, actually, you know, like, there's a yeah. difference, someone, like, discovering electricity, it's like, hey, look, like, this can do these things, mm-hmm. right? Versus, like, discovering that, and then immediately building a fucking ship all within six years span? Like, yeah. he's actually, like, a genius, what? Yeah, I don't what? even, think, like, more than a genius, I don't even think any human can actually do all that. Yeah, I wonder if he actually had help, or, like, everything he thought of was just from his head. I suspect that he had to have gotten the knowledge from somewhere else like the knowledge regarding gold being like a conductor and that there was gold in the upper yard like how did he even know that there's gold in the upper yard if he's not even been there before like even Godfall, the person who was living in the upper yard didn't was not aware of this gold material but then somehow he knew and he came because he specifically only come because he is aware that there's already gold like he wouldn't mm-hmm. come here for no reason right like he already had all this planned out prior to coming to the upper yard so it's like how did he get the information that there's gold there and how did he learn that you can conduct gold and all that because nobody even knows what's going on sounds like maybe like a blue sea person came up and like 
oh. told him. I feel like that's that's the main thing. Like I don't, because the people below that. who knows the story yeah. of Norlan the liar, right? Then maybe. So someone that's tr- someone trying to get rid of Skypia. Not get rid of Skypia, but just know that there's treasure. Why would that person not take the gold themselves then? Because they can't get it. They don't have the power to get it. Maybe they just came up to Skypia looking for treasure, but. So he became friends with her. I don't know. I feel like maybe. Do you think there's like some kind of backstory for him? They didn't mention that he destroyed his own island. I think that's it. I don't think villains get backstory. Like, what happened to Crocodile? Like, that's most true. he got was like. That's true. He was with um, became a warlord. That that was it. Yeah. That's the only information that doesn't add up to me right now, because like everything else that they've given so far mm-hmm. is like all of it makes sense, but it's still there's still the missing part of like how he knows about all this and how he know about the upper yard gold, like Shandora, the gold. What if his actually wouldn't it, would it make sense that he knows all this? How his mantra is so powerful, he can just listen to people talk. Who would be talking about this? The blue sea people. He can't talk about. There's just no, there's no blue sea people here. Oh, like you're saying yeah, previously. that you're saying that oh, people that came previously. Yeah, he wouldn't even need to be there. His mantra, he could just listen cause with the elect- with the lightning. He oh. uses, he can um, basically eavesdrop on everyone, so he can pay- maybe he'll just listen in on bars or whatever the hell it is, and then he'll just know. And like people just casually talk about gold yeah, no being one, a conductor. Yeah. yeah, maybe. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. That's what like so weird to me. I mean, uh, yeah, I feel like it kind of makes sense, but. Like he, what if he didn't need to think about anything at all? Actually, he was just the plan was given to him because like over time he was just listening to thousands and thousands of people. Then he's just like, oh, this is interesting, and he like writes it down in his no- notebook or something. Oh, okay, Could and then so he writes down random people's information, mm-hmm. and then he would like come up with his own plan based on that information. Yeah, remember in the be- remember in the beginning of the Skype arc, the mm-hmm. there's this person that was running out of the island when Nami yeah. got there, right? And he was yeah. like, oh, I don't care about the treasure anymore. Like, how, how did he know there was treasure in the upper yard? Yeah. Right? That's so that I'm means thinking. there some people do know that there's some kind of treasure there. And maybe when he was younger, like, he was able to, like, listen in and all this stuff. Mm. Yeah. Maybe that's why? I don't feel like he came out with his own brain kind of thing. Like, he's, <laughs> that's he's a thinking, genius yeah. then, but maybe since he can, like, eavesdrop on people. Yeah. Um, and it's been, like, a long time, I guess, like, he could pick up some info. Yep, but like the weird part is like I don't know who would talk about gold being a good conductor. Like people would only come here for the gold value, right? Like how did he know that it's like a conductor and everything? He shouldn't technically know that, right? Maybe he read some kind of lightning book or something. No, the but then weather. that wouldn't... No, but that's what I'm saying. Even if there was a book in Skype regarding lightning, they wouldn't know about gold. That the Blue Sea people brought up. I don't know. Oh, the, the Blue Sea people? Yeah, I feel like it has to it do with the Blue like Sea that. people. Yeah. Because Endless Birth, like, right? he knows down there is just, like, endless. Oh, that's land. weird, though. Because, like, if it was a book, then it should also have the non-conductors. Then he would know what a rubber is, but he didn't know what rubber is. If you search up, like, like Maybe top three book. things that do not conduct electricity, I'm pretty sure rubber is going to show up. So it's, like, mm-hmm. weird that it's, like, hey, he has textbook where he read all about electricity and conducting but not the ones the materials that don't conduct maybe a person told him what you learn about maybe someone just told him hmm? maybe someone just told him yeah i feel like that's, that's like the best way i guess the thing that's like throwing me off is because they keep saying like oh he came from somewhere and then now i'm like wondering like what his past was like and how mm-hmm. he got to this point that's why i started wondering like hey like his devil fruit his, power yeah like his devil fruit power is still a mystery mm-hmm. how he knows all this information is still a mystery what else i mean i oh, guess the it's a shandora good... like um Calgara, what he said or whatever oh yeah the last bit he had something there's there. something he needed to go so back. yeah those are all those are all questions mm. Whoever designed the boat, though, is like big brain. Yeah, like they right. use all the science in their in their world, you know, and somehow they made a flying ship powered by electricity. Yeah. If you think about it, because like the people that was working for him, like their engineering capabilities had to have been limited to like stuff without yeah, electricity, basically. and then all of a sudden they're just like making electricity. This is basically like Tesla's man. They're like the Tesla company. They just came off of um, electric vehicles out of nowhere. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> electric boats. Yeah, electric flying vi- boats. vehicle. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a boat, man. It's like, a it's a bit of everything. Like it's like a ship and a plane. I guess so. 
Thanks for watching everyone. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps with the channel. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.